from Extras. In this tutorial in Illustrator CC, I'm going to show you the mosaic feature. And using the mosaic feature, you can break an image apart into many different ways. So I'm just going to go now to, and I've just embedded, actually, I've just gone File, Place. So that's the image there. And now go to Object, Create Object Mosaic. Once you've done that, the sad thing about this dialog, it doesn't come up with any sort of options, particularly in terms of being able to keep the options. So every time you come up, it comes up with tile spacing set back to zero. So I'm just going to quickly set that three. And also there's no preview. So uh, width and height, I've just actually set 30 tiles, 30 tiles. So click OK. Now you've actually seen it's all been turned into vector designs that each of those are vector squares so you can resize those obviously in any number of ways right next thing to do object ungroup now if you actually grouped them all together and you do a transform you wouldn't be able to get a sort of uh, randomized sort of design so I'm just gonna ungroup all those and now I've done that I can actually go to object transform transform each and there you have it you can actually turn instead of just using I'm just gonna go back to the default settings I'm gonna just move it up a bit change the angle and you can just play around with it obviously just to move all the different parts of the image you've got that one different scalings you can put it back to basically the same settings as before the key thing here is random that's the key thing. If you set, turn that back off, you can actually just see each of the lines just stuck. So you can actually just turn that around. You can actually, so you can get a whole range of different designs just by changing that, as well as doing the thing. But obviously that all moved together. So key thing, random. You can obviously change the position, center of origin as well. And you can make bigger. Or you can make very, very, very fine, fine lines. Click OK. And now, of course, you've actually got all in little bits, which you can recolor. And that's uh, we're doing another tutorial. Right. I hope you found this of interest. See you again soon.